Microsoft Teams. So this is one of the newest, uh, it's the newest uh, app in Office 365. Okay, then Teams untuk collaboration in the classroom. Okay, so let's say you have, how many students do you have in your class? 70? Okay, so do you divide them into tutorials, for example? Yes. Right? So tutorial 1, 2 and 3. So, uh, an example to use it, when you create a class team, okay, you masukkan all your students in there, all 70 students in your class, and then you create pula sub team. We, which we call channels. Nanti saya akan tunjuk. Channel tu you boleh uh, rename tutorial 1, 2 and 3 and then you can share all your files, tutor, uh, assignments and so on, project, quizzes and then you can even uh, kalau you pakai Microsoft Forms kan nak buat quiz boleh masukkan juga dalam ni. Kalau you nak buat video call like a virtual class with your students Everyone has to install desktop version. Okay, tak boleh pakai yang online version. Desktop version, semua boleh jawab video call sebab dia run on Skype for business. Okay? And then your Outlook calendar and so on. And if you are using OneDrive, and contoh, another cloud storage like Google Drive and so on, you boleh integrate dalam Teams juga. Okay, so it's called a hub that has other applications as well. Okay, and another thing that makes it interesting untuk menggunakan uh, Teams is you have that chat-based experience with your colleagues and your students. Siapa kat sini suka gunakan WhatsApp? Okay, we, we all have WhatsApp and sometimes use Telegram. And do you have your students WhatsApping you? Yes. Do you limit or restrict the time that they have to WhatsApp you? No. Okay. And are you okay with them WhatsApping you at night? Not okay. During the weekend? Not okay. No. Okay. So, even for myself, <coughs> even for myself, after working hours, unless it's really urgent, I will ignore. Right? But, Especially during the weekends or I am on leave, I will put the status there, I am on leave and then I will not attend to the WhatsApp. But we cannot stop people from messaging us. Okay? So, if you like the chat experience, you can use Teams. And you will install dalam phone and now even myself and my team, my team at office, we use teams to communicate with each other for work. We don't use WhatsApp. Okay? So, if you have it in your phone, you can still chat with people, you can share your your articles, you can share videos, photos. Like just now, we took a photo tadi. I'm going to share it in my team for record keeping. And everything is organized. When I'm traveling, saya nak ambil slides from my team, I can just download to my phone. Right? So everything works well in one uh, place. Is Teams an app? Yes, it's an app. It's an app. It's so we can download the app. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to skip this part, but these are some of the concerns uh, when we want to start using Teams, right? If you feel like you have a full inbox, right? And everyone is communicating through your email, and then you feel like Oh, everything is in my email. And sometimes, ada orang pernah tak buat? You want to stay up to date with the work, current work yang you buat dekat UUM, sebelum balik, you email yourself. Right? So, again, it contributes to cluttering your email. Okay? And then, pernah tak? When your HOD or your dean gives you something important and then you just forget. You forgot where you put it. Okay, and then baru nak cari. And then it happens to students as well. When lecturers give something and then they forgot where they stored the material. Okay, so this is one of the reasons, another reason why you should try using 
teams. And who doesn't want to check for information more than one place? Okay, I think majority of us would only want to refer to one place. Kalau kita tahu, okay, refer to team, this folder, kita terus tahu. Right? And if I have the time, I will show you uh, what my colleagues and I have been doing. Right? And you don't want to use WhatsApp. Okay. So, we've done OneNote. You can also have OneNote experience in Teams. Therefore, let's say you create a class or a staff team for you and your colleagues. Automatically, akan ada OneNote notebook for that particular team. So, everyone can contribute ideas and collaborate and so on. Okay. So, how would we compare teams and physical classes, right? So, your classroom, like you have 70 students and then you are teaching different subjects, you are using different technology. It's the same experience if you use teams, you can have those different different categories as well and make, it, make your classroom more organized as well. Okay, and you can customize your classroom based on your students' needs. So if it's only for this one particular tutorial group, you only put the materials for that group sahaja and so on, right? Okay, so there are four types of team that you're supposed to uh, be able to create, right? First is class team for you and your students. And then is PLC team if you find this relevant to your usage, right? Professional learning communities. Usually, schools would use this. And then, staff team. This is something that you can try first with your colleagues, right? Before you start creating a class team, I recommend you create a staff team first for your department, okay? And then, the other one is any anyone, okay? Anyone on the team, meaning anybody can start using it. So, before we go to the features, just a quick... You know, tips for you. First one, if you want to explore teams, explore as an individual first, and then you try with your colleagues, and then when you're confident, you get the help from your IT, and then you can enroll in your classroom. Okay, this is an idea. Some of the things that you can do in the staff team. You can schedule meetings. And if you want to schedule meetings, um, you know, face-to-face -face meeting, you can do that. You can put the location and so on. But if you want to schedule a virtual meeting, remember it runs on Skype for Business. Mm -hmm. So you can also have that video conference or just a call, call, call. And then you can schedule the meeting. When you schedule this, it will come out in the team notification. Everyone will know. Okay, we have a meeting later at 4, for example. And then you can use the planner, right? So when you integrate planner, it's a tool in Office 365, into your team. Let's say you have a task, and then you assign your students or maybe your colleagues to that task, and you put a due date, and you add whatever uh, assignment that you want to do and you can track everyone's progress. Okay? So, let's say you have this planner. Uh, student A has to do this, 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 the list. When he has completed one task, he'll just tick that box and you, you as a lecturer, will be able to see the progress of each student until the due date. Okay? And then it has a staff notebook, which is your OneNote notebook. So you can, uh, as a team in your department, uh, you boleh letaklah macam-macam your meetings, your events, your uh, what else, uh, student details and so on. Okay, you can create your pages and sections. Okay, class team. Just now we looked at staff team. Now class team, right? So this is a 
flow workflow what you can do by using teams with your students you can easily share files and teaching materials to them you can make announcement in the chat pane and then you can divide them into projects and monitor the progress from planner for example and then you can create and distribute grades if you created a quiz and then you give them assignment and so on you can do the um, grading and then the assi uh, assessment for the assignment so i understand that you already have moodle right so if you want to use teams is for your classroom quiz or assignment just you know for the small small tasks but the major ones you can still use your lms right this is just an option for you <clears throat> okay so when i go to teams if i want to log in i can either go to office.com and sign in to my account or i can straight away go to teams.microsoft.com i repeat office.com or teams.microsoft.com their standalone website okay so the sign in and this is how a sample of team looks like so all these with the icon kat sini that's what we call the team okay so what we have created and then within that team you see general every team has a general channel okay and you can create your other channels okay so there's like a reporting and so on product team updates and so on so if you look at this within this team we have conversation so uh, if you could see right this is actually the admin of our team adding people into the uh, channel and then we can see everyone is being added all the notification will be in conversation right and this is also where you can chat and so on and then the files would be your sharepoint okay so uum's sharepoint whatever you store here is for your classroom right and class notebook if you created a class assignments and the plus sign which we will take a look at it later okay so if you want to create a team there's a button down here which you will see create team nanti dia tulis kat situ and you can choose which one you want so let's say you are trying in a bit you can start with staff members first and when you create your team you will put in your name uh, the name of the team so you can put your class name or your subject and then you can put a description so that when you add people in there they will be notified what this is what this team is about and then you click next what can i help you today so this is for you to remember right in one team can only have 10 owners or admin okay so you as the admin who creates the team <coughs> and you can make other nine people as the admin as well and then currently you can only create 100 team based on your account okay i think that is more than enough and what can owners do right the admin they can add members and other owners they can rename the team they can delete and then they can change some of the setting okay so be careful when you want to make someone an owner you choose the one who is responsible right <clears throat> and then for team members just now was owners these members there can only be 600 members per team satu team 600 member okay and then you must be a member of that team by you boleh tengok what is inside the team lah if you're not added then you don't have access to it right so to add people there will be a, a button you want to add members so teachers would be yourselves lecturers 